Okay, welcome back to Starters Order 6. Uh, it's been a few months since I've played this game at all. Um, it's also been a few months since I recorded my last video in which Hanover Lodge absolutely crashed and burned and went under in a massive way. Uh, so I thought I'd give it another go. I started this one on easy instead of um, normal because <laughs> clearly I can't handle normal. <laughs> um, okay, so what we'll do, we'll have... Um, Training owner game, simple training model, and enable replays. We don't want to auto run any days. I've got my name in, one player. We've got default game schedule. Um, also, you can see <laughs> PJ's schedule down here. Love you, PJ. You're awesome. Um, okay. Which, if you want any of PJ's schedules, um, I think you can get them off the forums, the starters orders forums. Um, he does some really good ones, especially if you want um, all of the group one races in one schedule. Um, I think he's got a worldwide. I think that's the one there actually that I've got. I haven't played in months so I don't remember but I'm pretty sure that's PJ's worldwide schedule. That would be what the WWS stands for I think. Alright so let's get started. Now I've got a sore throat. <laughs> As per usual when I'm recording videos I always do it when I'm sick. Um, possibly because I don't have anything else to do. Um, so I probably sound a little bit croaky and I might sort of cough a little bit. I'll try and not blast your ears with me coughing though. <laughs> I apologize in advance if I do. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, so, oh, these things are flashing. It's all so new. All right, so we have Felina. Felina is a two-year-old filly two miles, so she's not going to be able to run much for a very long time. Her potential rating is okay. We have Ekra. All right, so I'm going to be holding on to Ekra, I think. Even just looking at him now, I'm pretty sure he looks pretty good. Um, his potential rating is at 70, or um, unmet potential is at 70, max potential so far. But as he runs, that will probably go up. And he's also seven furlongs, so I'll be able to run him straight away. So that's good. So we're going to auction, definitely auction for Lena. Bold Cross is a three-year-old cult, a mile three. I don't know what I think of him yet. When I open a horse and they're this area, if I just kind of look at the whole area and there's lots of white like there is with him, I always sort of get a really bad impression of the horse because I think, you know, he, he's got no confidence. He's got no finish application and fortunately no quirks. I mean, that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I don't really like all of this is looking a bit empty. Not sure about him. Then we have Gumball. Gumball is a four-year-old stallion. Um, I'm probably not going to keep him either. And then we have Elusive Kate. Okay. Well, what I might do is I'll start off. Okay, I'm going to start off just by aux uh, auctioning Felina and Bold Cross. And if we get enough money for the breeding barn, which fingers crossed we will, um, I'll retire Gumball and Elusive Kate so they can get started right away on making a new batch of two-year-olds, or, well, one two-year-old anyway, <laughs> in a couple of years' time. Um, okay, so we'll go to the auction. We have Felina and Bold Cross. God, I hope this works. Please, please, please sell for a lot. Okay, I think we're pretty safe. We should be, yeah, we'll definitely be able to buy the breeding barn, which is, um, pretty important. <laughs> nice. P. Ettery. Be smart. P. Ed okay, come on guys. Finish up already. Uh, I don't like to skip auctions because, um, or not auctions of my horses anyway, because I found in earlier versions of this game, uh, earlier iterations of the Starters Order 6 game, that is. If I skipped an auction, sometimes the horse wouldn't sell. Like, people would would have been bidding on it, but it wouldn't sell, which is really weird. I don't know if that's a bug that's been ironed out by now, um, but I don't really want to risk it when there's that much money at stake. All right, Bold Cross. Oh, God, we're going to have so much money. So, so much money. Oh, gosh. All right, I'm going to skip it and see if he sells. Yes, okay, he did sell. He did sell. So, that means, ooh, we need to rename our stable. We are Hanover Lodge 2.0, 2.0, no, 
No, we can't find numbers. Okay. <laughs> Hanover Lodge 2. There we go. Uh, while we're in here, we need to buy breeding facilities. 390,000. And where are we? Oh, God. There we go. Horse trailer. Upgrade. Done. All right. So Elusive Kate is being retired. She's seven furlongs. That's good. I like seven furlongs. Oh, he's. Oh, all three I kept uh, seven furlong horses. That's interesting. Okay, so we'll go breeding. Oh, repeat unsuccessful. Nice. And Ekra. Seven furlongs. So he's probably. He's a two year old. Oh, there's no races. Bugger, I was hoping there were some maidens. Alright, we'll have to wait until later in the season. Ooh, seven new legends enter the game. For more information, visit the legends page. Where's the legends page? All right. So in the game as two-year-olds, we have Frankel, Canford Cliffs, Cliffs, Acceleration, Olympic Glory, Bullet Train, Deja, and Loxong. Nice. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Nope, still no more races. All right. What I might do actually is go to the auctions and just have a little poke around. Um, and see what there is. Mm, no, there's nothing there. Okay. I don't know at what point in the year um, the first two-year-old races become available to enter. I, don't, I swear some years there are some two-year-old races straight, or, straight away. And then other years you have to wait like... I don't know, a month or two before there are any. Maybe I'm imagining it and maybe it's actually different um, schedules or different uh, places because I'll normally play in North America instead of the UK. So maybe North America has earlier two-year-old races in the year, like considering when their season starts. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Nope. Okay, come on. No, there's still nothing. God, are there going to be any two-year-old races? Who knows? Maybe there just won't be this year. Um, ooh, we have mail. Horse transporter. No, we've got a horse transporter. Gosh. Head lad, you're behind the times, mate. All right, here we go. Uh, so, Ekra likes firm ground. Do we have any firm ground? Well, we have rainy ground, so I assume everything else is good. We might pop him in this one here with only five other horses. Nice. M Hills. M Hills, you're going to be our jockey. Oh, I do not like it when that happens. Um, so I actually played um, another game of this just uh, a few minutes ago. <laughs> and it did not work recording wise so I had to start again and the first time I skipped a long stretch of time and the screen went black with that red line I freaked out I thought it crashed but apparently that's I don't I don't know if it does it on everyone's computer or if it's just something a bit weird with mine but I'm not a fan <laughs> it scares me every time it does it I think it's crashed <sighs> oh okay Ekra let's do this so there he is in our Cadbury silks. I think we managed to get the same ones. Yeah, I think we managed to get the same ones. So he's number five. Oh, come on, mate. You can do it. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, actually, we might move up a little bit so we can see the whole field. Oh, come on. Come on, Ekra. Come on, Ekra. Come on. Oh. Oh, did he do it? He did it by a nose. Oh, good on you, baby. Good job, mate. I want to give him scratches and kisses. I'm pathetic with horses. <laughs> they get so sick of me. I'm very um, overly loving <laughs> with them. They don't like it. Uh, restrained early. We just scraped home. The trip was spot on today. Excellent. So his rating is now 78. And that is decent-ish off a maiden. Just scraped home. I don't, I don't like the sound of that. That scares me. Um, so we don't want to overrace a two-year-old. Um, what has he got with his maturity rate? I don't know what this little gap is here. I don't know. I think if you don't have this mod, this graphic mod on that gives you the um, increments for your stats, I don't think it does this. But when you've got it on, the maturity rate sort of squishes up here, and I don't know if it displays correctly or not. 
Um, anyway, what am I looking at? Juvenile constitution. Okay, so we can take a tiny, a little bit of racing. <laughs> a tiny bit of racing. All right, we'll stick him. Oh, do we want to put him in that? There's some. Oh, there's a lot of horses in there. I might actually just not enter him for a little while and see what happens. Also, what I might do is go to the races and buy some cheap, cheap mares and see if we can get some breeding happening. I'd rather them not be a mile four. That's too long. Because if we're going to be putting them to our seven furlong stallion, I don't really want to... Um, what am I saying? I don't really want to uh, breed him to mares that are longer distance. Not that it matters too much when you're purely breeding to make money, but uh, I don't know. I don't like it. I think it's bad practice. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't usually give you all that good a fall. Or it didn't in the earlier games. I, like, I mean, I've played this game a bit, but I mean, I sunk hundreds of hours into Starter's Orders 5. Um, and I knew that game inside out. Uh, whereas this one, mm, not so much. Oh, I don't want to pay that much for her. You can have her. Embel, you can have her. Skidol Samba. No, I don't want her. Baldemara. Oh my goodness. Come on, guys. Redstorm, no thank you. Baldemara. Nope. Skidol Samba. Six furlongs by a group one win winner. Yes, please. I would like this one. Please. 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 May I have? Yes. All right. We've got her for 6,500. That's not bad. Actually, I was saying earlier that it. I used to find in this game, if you skipped um, the auction, your horse didn't sell, but thinking about it, it might have been that if you skipped the auction when you bidded on a horse, you didn't buy the horse. <laughs> I might have got that back to front earlier, actually, thinking about it. Um, I can see this... Okay. Their first... <laughs> their first fall... Fall. Fall. Their first fall is going to be called Gumball Samba. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's so funny. I like it. All right. Uh, Ekra. Can we enter you again? Only in this massive conditions race. I'm not interested in that. All right. Wednesday, Thursday. So we'll skip ahead. What do we have? Madeira Mist. No, I don't want to pay that much money. One might, Okay. I might take Annie Confidential. When I'm looking for cheap um, brood mares, I usually... <laughs> And once again, this is just like the last series with me like <laughs> advising and telling people what I normally do. And what I normally do led to just horrible, horrible bankruptcy in the previous series. So take everything I say <laughs> with a grain of salt. Um, but what I normally do when I'm looking for horses, uh, looking for cheap mares to breed in my first season so I can make some money by selling the two-year-olds, is I look for a mare with a similar distance to the stallion that I've bought, which I don't think that actually makes very much difference at all to how much money you make off the foals. So it's not really a big deal. But if you get a decent, a horse with decent potential out of your two-year-old crop um, and you want to keep that horse, it's better um, if it has parents closer, I find, closer in distance than, say, if you bred a six furlong stallion to a two-mile mare and you got a foal with great potential, but that could never find its distance. Um, so just in case you get a really decent one, I try to get mares that have a similar distance to the stallion I'm using. And I also like them to say buy a group one winner. Um, I don't know, as I, I don't know if I said this earlier or not, but I don't know if this really makes much difference at all. But if it didn't make any difference, I don't know why it would be in the game. So I just kind of assume that this means that they might... Um, like it just gives you a bit of an indication that they might be more decent or they might be like good to breed with, I guess is my point. Um, but, you know, as I said, big pinch of salt because I really don't know what I'm talking about half the time. All right, we'll skip Madeira Mist. I don't want to spend that much money on a two-year-old or on any horse at the moment, actually. Okay, this mare's nice and cheap. She's a mile, which is great to go with my stallion. And she's by a group one winner. And she's also only five, so she's got a lot of years of breeding left in her. So she's, um, 
I think she's really good value. Let's look at her stats actually. Potential rating is absolutely crap. Everything's pretty bad, but her foals may go for a lot of money. So that's why we have her. <coughs> actually, Skiddor Samba. I never actually looked at her um, screen. Yeah, so all the horses that, all the mares that I'm going to be buying are probably going to look pretty much the same in here. Um, in that their stats are going to be pretty, pretty bad. Especially their potential. Um, so what I like about Skiddor Samba is her finish application um, and her consistency. So consistency, um, now I know we don't have a league for Starters Order 6, but in the previous games, consistency didn't matter if you were breeding for the league because every race was basically like a one-off race of your horse at its absolute peak. So it didn't matter if it could hold up to like extended um, frequent racing. Uh, that just didn't factor into it. But this uh, this game that I'm playing right now will never have league horses in it because <laughs> it just it just won't. Um, but so I'm glad if I find a horse with good consistency um, because that means that if she produces a decent foal that I end up keeping uh, and it happens to have good consistency that hopefully I'll be able to race it more and make more money. So that's not bad. That's not bad to have um, on a mare that you're breeding with. Any confidential? What else does she have going on? Um, her consistency is okay. Her finish application is terrible and her confidence is terrible. <laughs> oh well. Um, I suspect most of her foals are just going to be going straight to auction, so that's not too bad. Alright, so we'll leave the breeding barn alone for a minute, which is difficult because <laughs> Honestly, the majority of this game for me is breeding. Um, it's what I love about it. It's what is so addictive for me about the game. Um, do No, I don't want to put him in that. Okay, so we'll skip... <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we'll skip ahead to the next auction. And what do we have? Mm. Last Resort. No, I don't want her. Rare old times as a two-year-old. No. Um, I don't really want to spend 13000 It doesn't sound like much, especially when we've got 1.6 million, but when I'm initially looking for mares to breed, I don't know. I'm... I try and be pretty frugal. Um, ooh, we haven't picked our place on the map. Oh my goodness, it's been so long since I've played this game. I've forgotten basically everything. Oh, so we're here at the moment, which is, and forgive me for my lack of knowledge of the UK, I don't know where anything is. Where am I? Red Car, Catterick, Newcastle. Okay. Um, Muscle, Muscleburg or Muscleborough? I assume it's Muscleborough. Carlisle, Hamilton, Ayr, Ripon, Thirsk, York, Beverly, Doncaster, Pontefract, Haydock, Chester, Southwell, Nottingham. Ooh, Nottingham. Wolverhampton, Warwick, Leicester, 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 Newmarket, Yarmouth, Epsom, Windsor, Kempton, Sandown, Lingfield, Goodwood, Ascot, Newbury, Salisbury, Bath, Chepstow, Fosslass. Um, what's this little island out here? Does anyone know what island, what that is? What that place is? I want to be on that island. <laughs> I like the island. Um, okay. Garran Park, Curra, Leopardstown, Fairy House, Navan, Dundalk, Tipperary, Limerick. Limerick! Oh, that's so pretty. Galway. I've got Derville, Chantilly, St. Cloud, Longchamp. Maison Lafitte. I don't know how you say that. <laughs> Baden Baden. All right. So let's get down to this. Where are we going? Um, I might actually just pop in expenses level 5. No. Uh. Oh, you can't actually... Oh. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. Um, should we go on this little island? <laughs> I feel like we should. Oh, we could go in the sea. <laughs> Let's not go in the sea. Um, okay. Let's be serious. Where are we going? Um, if we go, oh, I kind of, no, 
We'll go out in this nice... No, okay. The reason I'm saying no every time I click is because I'm watching the expenses level go up. Uh, and I don't like it. So what we might do is go just about uh, here. So we're out here. I don't know where this is, but we're kind of... Expenses level three. It's not too expensive. Uh, and we're kind of in between everything. So we might go there. I'm so tempted to go on this little island. I love it. All right. That'll do. Done. Done. We're organized. Huh. I didn't know you could do that. Show all stables. Oh, you can see where all the stables are. Why are there stables in the sea? New house farm. Mate, your horses are underwater. <laughs> Why are there stables in the sea? Oh my gosh, that's really weird. Oh, there are stables down here. <laughs> oh, this is really weird. This is so strange. Wait, didn't wasn't there already an orbit house? There's an orbit house run by I Head, and an orbit house run by J P Gallerini. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's weird. Okay, all right, let's stop, let's stop. Um, okay, done. So we're somewhere. If anyone knows whereabouts um, we are. Oh, not that map. Where's, where's our map? Oh, where are we? Yeah, there we are. Okay. Um, if anyone knows whereabouts we are, let me know in the comments because I'd really like to know. Um, where I have stuck us in the, possibly the middle of nowhere. Don't get offended if you live there and I said that because I know nothing about the UK. So <laughs> please, no angry comments. Um, okay. So, Ekra, that's enough. That's, that's enough fooling around. Uh, we have Ekra. Is he ready to race? Do we have a race for him? I don't want to put him in this handicap because he'll be carrying near top weight. Maybe I'll put him in this listed. Although, he's not as good as the rest. Oh, I don't know. No. Alright, we're going to leave him alone. We'll leave the breeding barn alone. God. Stay out of the breeding barn. Jeez. That's honestly where I spend the majority of my time in this game, though. Oh, I love I love organizing things like that. I have massive spreadsheets full of um, like different bloodlines and different things. Oh, my goodness. Okay, what do we have? 12-year-old mare. I don't want to buy a 12-year-old mare. She does not have enough foals left in her. That sounds really harsh. And in the real world, I would not... I'm not uh, inclined to treat horses as money-making machines. Mostly because they're... Well, partly because they're not really going to make you any money unless you're incredibly talented and lucky. But also because I don't like looking at animals like that. What am I talking about? I honestly just go on with crap. <laughs> All right, here we go. Do we have any mares that we can buy? Uh, five furlongs by a group two winner. For only, well, her reserve is 500. That's not too bad. Uh, Flower of Dunblane. No. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually going to have to cut this episode short because there's some banging going on in my house that may get really annoying to people. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to cut it here. But if you're watching, thank you very much for doing so. And uh, I will see you next time. Hopefully I won't take too long to record the next episode. I'll try and um, get back to it uh, much faster than I usually do. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.